Hey everybody, it's Invicta. Happy Friday, Mosh Pit. It's time for another Eden run here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. We're still waiting for the next video to cross 3,000 likes. We have two videos that are very, very, very close, so definitely go check those out if you want to support the channel and get that like streak back up as we go into the new weekend. Hopefully your weeks have been awesome so far. We have a very special dual meme of the day. What? Yes, we have a two a two for meme of the day here. The first one brought off to you, brought from the uh, Simvicta subreddit, brought to you by Stamprints. Title of the thread was "I had to do it." Here's the fan art requested by Simvicta himself in today's episode. Oh yeah, brother! <laughs> Thank you very much, Stamprints. And then we also had another artwork of the day for the same exact meme, brought to you by Paradoxes Black on the Sinvicta Discord. So thank you very much to PB as well as Stan Prince. Hold on a second there, brother. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Thank you both very much for the amazing worm buddy suplexes of the day. Seed day, oh boy. Seed day is going to be uh, Echo 6 Victor 0, uh, Juliet Yankee, Juliet Delta. I had to, I thought that was a, a circle there for, a, yeah, a circle, an O for a second. Uh, well, we've got Dark Arts, and we also have 1 HP, but we have good damage, good tiers rate to start with, horrible movement speed, though. And that's really where I'm a little bit... Oh, we also have, we also have Spooky Bombs, apparently. Um, I didn't mean to use a bomb there. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm a little bit concerned. Just a, just a hair, just a little bit. That's a little easy kill there on Lust. Uh... About our HP, obviously, we're one tapped away from death if we get hit by a champion or a globin or something like that. Uh, but theoretically, theoretically, dark arts can allow us to get past a lot of the a lot of the, the sort of scarier parts. That was that was a little bit closer than I was expecting it to be. I don't think dark arts can make you go spectral over rocks and stuff, but I was not intending it to be that close to the to the spikes whenever we came out of there. So it was a, a little bit a little bit sketch, a little bit a little bit sus, as the kids say. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is not a bad start. We just have to be very cautious with our HP, obviously. It's great having some early bombs. And uh, yeah, we have a holy card. I'm not going to bomb the donation machine until we absolutely have to. There's, not, there's nothing really in there that's worth bombing for. Um, we could go for blank card, holy card. But like, I don't know what the cooldown on that is. And honestly, like Dark Arts, Dark Arts is not terrible. Um, it does, as you saw from earlier on this level, it does give us free access into the curse room and out. So that is very useful. Um, we can also use it to essentially mitigate incoming damage. Um, like, you know, we can go through sh we can go through shots. We can go through anything uh, except rocks, obviously. So it's very nice to have. Um, the movement speed is also nice that you get from using it. You just have to be careful whenever you're exiting. So there we go. Find them up. Obviously, Dark Arts is what uh, Tainted Judas starts with. Let's get Bird's Eye here. We do have 0.69 luck for the Bird's Eye. Uh, procs, which is very nice. It is very nice, um, and uh, you know, it's we, we've got we've got some good. We have a good defensive build going right now. Um, it's not perfect, obviously, but you know, the the combination of bird's eye plus having the having the ability to essentially phase through shots and stuff is very very powerful. Um, we just need to make sure again that we don't overdo it. We don't want to overestimate. Our survivability when it comes to dark arts and that's something that i usually have a little bit of a problem with i, I tend to I, I tend to be like oh yeah we're gonna be fine and then like our exit is like way too close to enemies and stuff so now obviously if we were if we were tainted judas we wouldn't have to worry about uh dark arts um we, we, we essentially wouldn't have to worry about uh not getting a damage upgrade from using dark arts which is what happens whenever you know, Judas uses it, uh, but unfortunately, and I don't know why they changed the functionality like that. I guess it was just to give Judas or Tainted Judas something special to have, but I would much prefer there to be even like a, a slow, a slowly building DPS upgrade, like something, something other than just simply freezing like projectiles and enemies. And then that's that. Like we just hit a triple shot there and then also hit Dangle and we get nothing for it. You know what I mean? So, like, I'd, I'd prefer to see something a little bit more incentive to use Dark Arts. That's really what kind of holds it back for me. But overall, I think Dark Arts is still... It's still a functional item that is not terrible. We, there's certainly way worse active items out there in Isaac. And anything that can just mitigate damage, like, instantly is really, really, really nice. And a special, like, especially bonus points if we end up going... 
if we can get into and out of curse rooms for free. I wanted to freeze dangle right over the uh, the sh the uh, fire there. So we get the bog standard HP upgrade, and then we're also going to be able to get two soul hearts, which saves us five cents from buying one in the shop. I'm going to skip the blank card, holy card combo. Yes, it's a discount. Uh, it is a discount holy mantle, but that's all it is. It's just discount. And why take discount when you can have the real thing, you know? Which we definitely do not have. <laughs> so I guess beggars cannot be choosers, but... You know. For 15 cents, I'd much rather spend it on like PH Dizzle or, yo, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're dodging everything dip, but if you could just die, uh, I'd rather spend it on anything, you know, blank card, blank card is still, it is still a usable item. It's just not nearly as usable as it once was, you know, now admittedly, I don't know what the, um, I do not know what the, uh, cooldown is for holy card. And I'm sure we'll find out one day, but today is not that day. Very happy that there was not an item pedestal to bounce us off into the spikes there. And something I'm going to start doing on Sunday, unless if I forget, which I probably will, but just remind me in the comments. Um, uh, to, to encourage more uh, engagement in the comments, what I'm going to start doing is grabbing questions from the... From the comment section that I think are that are interesting or enjoyable or something like that, something that people would want to hear. So I'm going to start posting starting on Sunday. So this Sunday's run, whether I don't know what's going to be a random run day or whatever, um, I'm gonna I'm going to post a a pinned comment that I'm going to post, and basically that's going to act as your questionnaire thread. And I will grab one question from there, and then uh, and then read it on you know on a, an episode or two in the future. Um, that way I can have them kind of pile up and I can pick and choose. Uh, so I give it, I, I, I don't want to do it like the next day because like I want people to be able to like get their questions in and stuff. And also, of course, encourage more comments. So um, that that way, that way we can get uh, more engagement in the comment section. And also you all can ask questions. It doesn't have to be Isaac related, but I prefer them to stay Isaac related. Like it's not going to be an AMA sort of thing. Like try to keep them on point when it, as far as like the the general gameplay let's let's put it this way you can ask any question you want on there but i'm going to more often than not take the questions that are centric about isaac or like what happened in like that particular episode or that sort of thing because like how come you how come you didn't take blank card holy card instead of dark arts you know you, like that sort of thing that's probably going to be the questions that i'm going to answer more often than like you know hey what color is your hair or like you know something like that so Wow, I've never seen a more underwhelming devil deal in my entire life. I mean, I guess we could take Dark Prince's crown just for the big, like, tears buff, but wow, that is, that is sad. And I mean, Dark Prince's crown, it's not, it's not like it's a trash item or anything. It's just... It's underwhelming because the the thing about th this is my this is my gripes when it comes to Dark Prince's Crown. It it is one of those very specific trigger items that it has to have a very very specific set of circumstances to actually give you any kind of benefit instead of opposed to like say the Pact, which just straight up just gives you the benefit as a passive. You know what I mean? Like so there's no there's very there, there's no upkeep there's no maintenance cost to activating a passive item like the Pact or the Mark or or, you know, pentagram, something like that. Like, so that's what I mean when I say underwhelming. And a lot of people misconstrue that as complaining about like, oh, this item, this item isn't good. And then like, they just think like, oh, so Victor thinks all the good items are bad. That, that's no, you're, 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 you're ignoring the context of, of what I'm talking about. The, the point is that I would rather my, if we, if we did like a, if we did a once tier list, like what what do I want? What would I expect from a devil deal? The first thing that I would want is a very strong, offensive buffing passive item Does that makes sense so like the pact um you know uh like uh pentagram uh you know the mark a bad and that kind of stuff i would rather have that class of item before having something like a dark prince's crown which yes it does give you a passive benefit but it there's a very specific circumstance that it can activate from 
And uh, if you do not reach that criteria, then, well, you're just SOL. It's just a waste of a Devil Dew item, essentially. So that's what I mean by that. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that, like, there's different... In my mind, there are different tiers of this is the first type of item that I want, then the next type, then the next type. So, you know, like trigger items, I would usually put that down towards the bottom just because of the fact that it's just... It takes, it takes a nuanced set of situations for them to be very useful and meaningful on a run as opposed to simply just giving me a big damage buff or tears up or you know speed up or something like that or even flying um so yeah so and i know that people are still going to be like ah, oh, zinvicta doesn't like the good items that's whatever i don't i don't care post them in the comments <laughs> that's fine you can you can do all that stuff i i've i've said it for many years like you know the people who 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 criticize everything you do or you know and i don't i don't automatically write them off as haters because i think that that's also kind of disingenuous um, but the people who just don't like you are the ones who will usually like thumbs down a video and, you know, leave nasty comments and all that stuff. It's like, Hey, thanks, bro. Thanks, sis. I appreciate it. Like that's a, that's a lot of, a lot of engagement. <laughs> You're your number one fan over here. And then usually when people hear that, then, you know, the, the negativity goes away. Uh, yeah, we can do this. I would like to get boss rush I mean, and we're, we're making pretty decent time for boss rush we got to be out of here by like 11 minutes though so dead eye is obviously very good it's going to increase our shots our shot damage every time we land consecutive shots up to a certain point and because we have a very good amount of tears rate and shot speed we should be pretty accurate in getting that uh dps buff i was kind of hoping that they were going to open up this uh mid rock for me it's gonna be a boss item Endor's box on the next floor gives us two soul hearts and a, a boss item, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this now. <laughs> Get the box. Because I'm trying to make dark arts work here, but it's the game is really wanting me not to. So rune bag, we can take, we can take a rune bag. Want to spend that key, but here we are. Okay, we got into the shop. Uh, I will take bogo bombs actually, because bogo bombs are going to give us plus one bombs whenever a bomb drops. So it's kind of like a mini contract from below or humbling bundle, but just for bombs. And that's fine. Like, that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, we can, we can keep a hermit card. I don't really like the sun card. I don't like taking all my HP and turning them into bone hearts. So last bomb here. Our super secret room. Oh, baby. So watch this. So we're going to take everything on the floor. We're just going to turn it into money. Now, I know that we needed keys and bombs and stuff, but come on. Like, look at look how much money we just made off of the trinkets and the pills and all that stuff. So, and you know, the, the reverse hermit card is, is criminally underrated, I think, for how much value you get out of that. That was like, that was what, like 61 cents or something stupid like that for one tarot card? You... Like that's better than that's better than any Ace of Diamonds. That's better than any Queen of Hearts Ace of Diamonds. It's better than any Temperance Machine that you're gonna get. Like the reverse the reverse Hermit card is just stupid good. Speaking of stupid, we got Double Trouble Gemini. Good job by the Purgatory. Ghost Bomb. Very clean kill on both of them. A range and luck upgrade. Yeehaw. Eat, eat, skirt, skirt. Well, at least we got a soul heart out of that. And again, a ton of money, so, but we gotta, we gotta get a move on here for, uh, you're gonna give me perfection, aren't you? Okay. Thought the game was going to screw me there. Glad it didn't. Got to wait for Bird's Eye to nuke the uh, Keeper here. And we also want to get these possibly two nickels. Actually, I think I can use Dark Arts to kill them. Maybe not. I know that Camo Undies can do it. Anyway. We are looking very solid here for the... Very solid here for the... Uh, for the tier proc damage, but our 
our damage damage is not phenomenal. Um, definitely want to get some raw damage upgrades here. We, we want to get some permanent tears ups as well. Now, if you do happen to activate Dark Prince's Crown, this does get you a... a the, the tears rate that you get from Dark Prince's Crown does go beyond uh, what the uh, what, what the tears cap is, what the soft cap is. Gonna be able to get the soul heart back once we get uh, Dark Arts back up. There we go. I mean, and, and you know, Dark Arts has been ha has been really super valuable here. A really efficient item that's not only saved us, like you know, countless soul hearts from just walking into curse rooms, but also granting us access to places that we normally wouldn't even like consider going. So, get a stars card here. I am gonna. I mean, we're we're flush with money right now. So, in fact, I'm we're so flush with money. I'm going to deposit while I can and before I forget. So that's a that's a good round of deposits there. It always makes you feel good when you deposit money in the bank. You're 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 saving for your future, you know. Actually surprised there, but actually no, I'm not surprised because we my count was off because our I keep forgetting that our base damage is so low. Base damage only 4.95, which is a it's a great starting stat. Don't get me wrong, and obviously Dead Eye is going to help us out, but we we need to get something something a little bit more a little bit more. Uh, come on, dirty, do me like that. Okay, so we do get a tears up. I am going to use the stars card now, and I'll take Proptosis only because like only because that like. Even without having the Dark Prince's Crown buff, we're still going to be doing lots of damage with uh, Bird's Eye as well as with uh, Dead Eye. So there's a lot of there's a lot of eyes on this run. He's head. Uh, that being said, though, I am going to take up his head because we do need the extra damage if we're going to try to speed things up. So we say thank you to uh, Dark Arts for getting us this far. I mean, Dark Arts, hey. It, it was it was a great it was a great pickup there for us. Uh, well, I mean we started with it, but you know what I mean. Um, it was great value for us. Oh, wow, I will take pay to win over the left hand, even though the left hand just got us a guppy item. <clears throat> Still with two item two item rooms left, having pay to win is uh, going to be very huge. Although I'm starting to think that boss rush is probably not going to happen, which kind of sucks, but well, we got we did get a devil card here, so that's an instant mom kill, which is nice. Is uh that is a uh, very nice. Movement speed is definitely in the much must need category at this point. Mongo baby. Mongo baby's a bro, but Yeah, we gotta we gotta take shoop. A close range shoop with proptosis is just that's so much damage. No. We we are not taking another movement speed now. <sighs> okay. Okay. Quad shot proptosis dead eye. Now you've got my attention. A shoop is going to call these these rooms very very quickly. Ooh. Unless of course I just miss everything. So piercing shots, piercing shots are going to be kind of needed here, but our. Our biggest problem, as you can see right now, is the lack of movement speed. We're taking all this bad damage because we have absolutely zero movement speed. So, yeah, seven cents for five keys is always a good idea. Always. Don't ever pass that up. If you see sharp key for even even for full price, that's still five keys for 15 cents. That's like getting five half price keys, man. Like that's that's just that, that is just too good of a deal. 
who can pass up a sale, you know? I should have known that the secret wasn't there. So, but now, ironically, now Proptosis is a little bit counterintuitive with quad shot only because like our shot speed goes way, way, way down. But again, that's compensated by the fact that we have, uh, that we've got uh shoop. So we need to, we need to really stop this, this bad, bad damage thing. With me, of course, this is about the worst boss for us, but again, we're just gonna blast him away. And uh, yeah, 73% deal with the devil. I'll pump. So that is another floor five devil deal. Okay. Soul of Eden would be fine, but yeah, we are we're currently in the midst of trying to get the boss rush, and I don't know if it's gonna happen. Only reason why I'm holding on to the reverse devil card right now is because it does technically count as the Bible. And it would one-shot mom, but obviously that's only if we if and only if we end up getting to we end up getting to mom and also go to the shop and go to our item room. So it's Kind of a big ask, and I'm not anticipating us holding on to the devil card for very long. Bloody crown. Bloody crown's actually not terrible here, because pay to win doesn't matter anymore. We've already spawned the, or at least we should have spawned the, uh, the reroll pedestal inside of the item room on this floor. Sun card. It's a very funny game. Not want to take the soul of Lilith, this voodoo head. And we found the shop. Campy Belt is going to give us another uh, another good amount of base damage. But we need movement speed. I mean, I'm not going to complain about getting damage, of course. But that's not what we are currently looking for at this time. I think that, I think that it's quickly waning our our hopes of getting to boss rush it was already kind of a kind of a stretch as is but the, uh, is that the same pill down. yes it is yeah yeah we did not go to the item room i'm going to compensate by going to the boss rush and hope that this is not a Krampus fight, which it's not. I will take Backstabber because this is going to at least give us um, Dark Prince's Crown again. Uh, I mean, we're more apt to probably get the movement speed buff from here. If we don't, then we have the damage buff, which is fine. We just need to make sure we don't get hit in this room. So we essentially, we essentially traded, um, of course that would happen. We essentially traded, uh, the item room for, for purity. Backstabber doing work here. Yeah, anything that we hit up close with Shoop is instantly dead because of Proptosis. The problem is that the other side of the room, as you just saw with Mantra 2, is uh, not. So we have to just hope that we get the high priority targets on this side of the room, not the other side. That, was, that one wasn't too bad. Yeah. Good. Didn't even see that shot from uh, little Steven. You've got to get... Movement speed is Yeah, 
it's easy to look at this and be like, oh, you're just walking into the shots and blaming it on your shots, on your movement speed. No, like play with 0.88 move speed and tell me how well you normally dodge. Your reaction times, I, I mean like the, the leeway that you get, the, the amount of time that you get to dodge something like decreases exponentially. Uh, yeah, we will take black rune. Samson's rune. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a dog fight of a of an episode right now. We've got on one hand, we've got a lot of a lot of killing power, but. As you can see, on the other hand, the uh, our defensive means are going right down the tubes, and now is when we absolutely need to stop taking bad damage, or at least get some kind of help for active damage mitigation. And you know, we just need we we need some kind of support here. Blood bombs is not going to be it. I I did take it because it does it does kill our uh, Dark Prince's crown buff. But that doesn't really matter too much anymore because our tears rate is just so bad thanks to quad shot. So, um, got the range upgrade here from uh, Purity. Do it, okay. Thought backstabber was gonna kill the Mega Claudia and then, then blow up the uh, the red faceless thing, the red skull. I was willing to be here all day and all night for that one. I'm gonna go in the little room here just to get a quick refresh on a uh, shoop before we we'll go to the big room. Okay, we clipped one of them. I know that we missed another one. But this is what I mean when like I say that we're kind of in like a sort of a dog fight of a of an of a run right now. You know, it's it's a really we're we're just kind of brawling with the game because we got to get up close and personal to get our to get our damage from uh, from proptosis, but that's also when we deal the most damage is when we're up close and personal. So it's just a matter of not dying to uh, to bad damage here. So now, if we get another HP upgrade here, I don't know if I'll take it versus using the black rune. I mean, this gives us a, an HP upgrade anyway, so... And we got tears and luck. Black. Right. I mean, it's a tears upgrade, right? Like, so that's, that's fine. Um, but it's certainly... Again, it's not the stat that we need right now. Unless we get soy milk, almond milk, or cursed eye, or a chocolate milk, the tears upgrade really is not going. It, it just doesn't matter. There we go. So we have 11 cents here for Spider Mod. There we go. Okay. Okay. The marbles. Okay. Would not have mined marbles. Minded marbles. So the Temperance Machine at least helps us get back our buff from the Dark Prince's Crown. We did get the tears up as well from Purity, so that's kind of nice. And Backstabber, I, I I mean, what more can you say about Backstabber? Just it is just value in a cup. I don't even know what that means, but sure. It, it, is, it is value incarnate in terms of our tears effects, because like it we we have already proven that it can hard carry you through a run where you where we didn't have like rubber cement that rubber cement and backstabber episode was really a landmark episode in the sense that it proved that you don't need overwhelming amounts of paper stats when i say paper stats i mean like what our stats are on paper you don't need an overwhelming amount of paper stats to still dominate a run it was purely built on 
just having good synergy with within your tier effects. And yes, I know that I can use blood bombs to get rid of our hearts too. I don't want to waste a bunch of bombs though in order to get to that point. It's gonna make us do a full clear in it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. If maybe we can get speed upgrade again. Actually, we haven't gotten the, we have we haven't gotten a speed upgrade ever, actually, on this run. There we go. Do not want botfly. I mean, it, botfly is kind of whatever, but like, yeah. Uh, we've already spawned our. We've already spawned our item room, so I guess we can take Polished Bone. Hey, look at that. We got a movement speed upgrade. Oh my gosh. We're like, it's like light speed up in here. We'll be able to bomb our way into the snow. I don't know. Okay. So looking for that item room. There it is. Hypercoagulation. Oh, man, I don't, I don't even know what to do with myself with this much movement speed. Now, we are in a rare instance where I will say that doing Hush, after that rant I went on yesterday, doing Hush strategically here might be a good idea for extra items. However, what I will say is that also is kind of getting canceled out by the fact that, like, we don't have any money for the Hush's shop, and we missed another double deal. That is incredible. I'm going to go do a first lap hush here just to see, just to kind of show everyone what I mean when I'm like, it usually isn't worth it, but hopefully maybe this time it will be. Okay, so we get a, uh, we get champions or a uh, consolation prize, which I think is going to be a tears up because it would normally be a movement speed up, except that we have purity. Yeah, it's tears up. Okay. Um, we have purity, so that's kind of skewing the stats a little bit. Miter's fantastic. I mean, hot bombs. You have 20 cents. Nun's habit for shoop ain't bad, though. I'll take I'll take a nun's habit for shoop. We do have now just rune if we get in trouble. Maybe we surprise them all and do a first lap delirium. If we don't get into trouble here against Hush, maybe we, do, we haven't done a first lap delirium. I don't know how long. Maybe that'd get the ball rolling on the like streak again. Come on, old Hushy. The squab. Our fire was so big, you couldn't even see it going into Hush's territory and canceling out the shots. Obviously, I want to get backstabber, but I can't be behind Hush right now. There we go. There we go. I don't know what I'm thinking about fighting Hush with 0.88 movement speed. Touch by being back off. Hush flies, heed my warning. At least, at least not if, but when we get hit, we'll have another charge and shoot to whoop, thanks to Nun's Habit. downside of proptosis is also going to be kind of a problem against delirium there we go that goes old hushy 
Old Husher. Uh... We can buy a key. Never know. That key might come in handy. And now I'm starting to, like, really regret not taking hypercoagulation. Let's do it. Screw it. First floor delirium. At first floor, I meant first run. Okay, so we did get movement speed back, which is good. And doing this without the Polaroid is already scary enough. But, uh, yeah. I wouldn't be doing this if we didn't have the Algis Rune. The Algis Rune, Shoop to Whoop, and Miter. I'm hoping that we can we can make that, that HP back. Now, if you're wondering how come our shots are going over the skulls, since we don't technically have Spectral Tears, it's because of Continuum. And this is also a floor where we're going to have to value our HP overall against Delirium over having an activated Dark Prince's Crown. Board card is very nice. Okay, so we have to hope that none of these are Delirium. I don't think either one of these are, but historically I've been... It's already been proven that I do not know how to find out which one's Deliriums and which ones are. <laughs> I just kind of go like, oh, I think he's over here. I mean, I mean, how I don't know how we got Genesis, but Genesis. Genesis would allow us to get out of the, the delirium fight if we found him early is what I was about to say. But I guess we're just going to do this. Now hang on a second. Hang on now. This is not a guaranteed fight. We do not have Dark Prince's Crown activated. <laughs> and stuff like that can happen. So we've lost our movement speed. And Genesis can also produce an R key. So if you see this video a lot longer than what this shows, that means that we got an R key in Genesis. I will use Genesis either defensively if we get too low of, low, too low of HP against the buggy you know what delirium or after the delirium fight God. backstabber is going to have to do some overtime here and this is where this is where the weakness of proptosis is really really apparent against hush and delirium and mega satan you really don't want to have proptosis against those three because it's almost impossible to get close to them without some kind of shielding or some kind of anything And with this lack of movement speed, we basically are, we are bound to having him come to us, which is real bad. And we want more mom feet. More mom feet will, will get him closer to us. I don't know what triggers that screen, but I really hated it. <laughs> okay. Perfectly normal, perfectly normal game speed there. Start placing bombs for uh, spooky bombs. And creep, of course. Boogie Bomb's doing work along with Backstabber. And look at that. There we go. We had a 0.88 movement speed delirium kill and almost died for it. Uh, just for just for S's and G's, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll roll Genesis just to see if, if we would have gotten a roll better than what we had. Now, I could go over and, and kill the other bosses to get extra items, but in this, quote, real world scenario here, we would have had to use delir or had to use Genesis defensively to get out of the delirium fight if we were like close to death. 
So I'm going to simulate that. So let's see what Genesis would have gotten us and if I think that we could have beaten Delirium. Well, that is not a good start. Although we did start with uh, Death's Touch. So, I mean, how wild would it be if it actually restarted Delirium? I actually don't know. I'm actually, I'm actually super scared about this. Because I've never used Genesis after fighting Delirium, I don't think. So I, I guess we just gonna find out. I guess BFF. Oof, God, this is this is not a good start, y'all. Okay, uh, I'd rather have. Oh. Okay, Mega Mush ain't bad. Like Smart Fly. I mean, this is so much HP, but like we need damage though. Big damage. Definitely want Ghost Pepper. Uh, we don't have the Polaroid, so... Take Blood Clot just for damage. Belly Jelly for defense. Tears up here. We're going to get another Tears up. Uh, yeah, I think he's a little bit better. E Bizzle is probably not going to matter. I'd rather have Flying and Movement Speed. Cracked Orb. Rusty Blood's good. With Hormones is good. Uh, neither of these matter, honestly. Our movement speed's actually okay. I'd rather take HP for survivability. Libra? Take Libra. I have the occult. This is exclusively an all stats down. I'm not taking... Forget me now. Uh, yeah, this is a dual stats. So that's great. Asia. This gives us spun. Maybe taking the uh, the glowing hourglass was better there. Thank God for a birthday. We, we don't have to give up Mega Mush yet. Uh, Polydactyl. It will take Compound Fracture. Okay, so did we get better? I don't know. I really hope it doesn't reset Delirium, though. I don't think it does. Yeah, it didn't. Okay. Good, 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 good. Good. So, look at that. We got ourselves a first-run Delirium. If you enjoyed this episode, everyone, make sure you click the like button. How about that? How about that? It's been a while since we've done a first-run Delirium. It wasn't too scary, but it was a little bit scary. <laughs> okay, game. Okay. 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 Well, I mean... Okay. So what else are you going to give us, game? Yeah, I might as well use the, the devil cards now because we've got rock bottom, so. I love how we're getting all the good. I mean, it's not that we didn't get bad. We didn't get good items, but I love how we're getting all these, like, crazy S tier items at the end of the run. The game's like, haha, here you go. You wanted a reason to fight Delirium. With rock bottom, I, I mean, minus rock bottom, I I still think that we were probably better off with this run more than the other one, just because of Proptosis. Just because of Libra, but now, like, it's obviously, it's very clear, so. Anyway. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up there. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you had a great start to your new weekend here in the Mosh Pit. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. I'm going to start pinning my questions of the day uh, on uh, Sunday. So Sunday's episode is when we're going to start. We'll see how well it does for engagement. If that doesn't work, then you know what? We'll keep on trying other stuff. So I hope you had a great start to your Friday. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some pages of mine like Newborn God, Jeremy Hansen, and Medic Wolf. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find down below, or by going to patreon.com slash Invicta.